Hey there, Brian Bram from Eagles Wings Community Church, and I got some funky lighting going on here. It's winter time in Minnesota, and I wanted to actually face the tree, but uh, that that my wife put up, but uh, the lighting is just not going to cooperate. So I was also going to wear one of those uh, old-fashioned uh, Christmas sweaters. I couldn't find one though. Maybe someone will send me one. Uh, and I can wear it next time or something. But uh, anyways, uh, my hope is that you'll, you'll check out the blog that this uh, video is introducing. Uh, the blog is uh, called Tim Tebow and the Private Faith Agenda. And uh, that blog is on our blog site, which is ewccblog.com. It just stands for Eagles Wings Community Church. So uh, it seems to me that there is a cliche that has gained popularity. Uh, And the cliche is that faith is a personal matter or faith is a private matter. And I think a lot of times when people say that, the implication really is that uh, the right thing to do is to keep our faith uh, to ourselves. So I actually heard it uh, most recently, which uh, sort of spurred on the uh, blog, uh, most recently on my uh, favorite sports talk radio show where they were talking about Tim Tebow and uh, uh, so I listened to that a lot and they were talking about it and and how he's uh, expressing his faith and one of the things when I heard that statement of uh, keeping faith uh, private and personal is whether it's really even uh, we really even have the ability to do that in a consistent manner Uh, and so in this particular blog I, I really don't quote any scripture Uh, because I'm not trying to, uh, like a lot of times in in a lot of my blogs, I'm not trying to sort of declare the historic Christian perspective on this matter. It's uh, it's really just sort of an opinion blog. Uh, But here's one thing that I I do think. Um, I think that there's really a spectrum of ways that we can think about uh, any particular faith system. So, One way is that we can affirm uh, all of the parts of that particular faith system. Another way is, of course, then uh, to affirm some parts of the faith uh, system and then either reject or ignore or uh, be unaware of uh, some of the uh, other parts of that system. Uh, And then yet another way is, of course, then to reject, ignore, or be unaware of Uh, all of the parts of a particular faith system. So concerning Christianity then, uh, I think that those Christians that uh, think that faith uh, should really only be a private personal matter uh, must at least be rejecting uh, or or ignoring or or must be uh, unaware of at least part of the Christian faith since Part of the Christian faith uh, is uh, sort of the Great Commission, uh, which basically states to go out and proclaim our faith. So uh, I think that uh, uh, I'm I'm not proclaiming any sort of judgment on these these folks or or anything like that, but the fact of the matter is there is scripture that indicates to us that we're supposed to take the good news uh, uh, out to the world. So uh, this blog, once again, is, is really not about how we share our faith. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to uh, uh, sort of give best practices on how we should fa- uh, proclaim our faith, but really it's uh, more on uh, whether it's possible or not uh, not to proclaim our, our faith, uh, whether we are actually able to keep it a private, personal matter. Uh, so to find out more about what I think on the topic, uh, uh, you'll have to go to my blog. And uh, if this blog or, or any other blogs uh, uh, or uh, topics are of interest to you, uh, then you know we'd love to have you participate in our uh, dialogue groups. Uh, and you can find info- information on that on our blog site at, once again, ewccblog.com. Blessings to you and Merry Christmas.